And welcome back, everybody, once again to Monumenta. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and I apps. I, 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 let me see if I can get this thought out of my head, but because my mouth is not working right now, I accidentally deleted the intro to this episode. So I'm redoing the intro, and then we're going to teleport back in time, and you're going to see what I've done, and then we're going to teleport back to the future, <laughs> or back to the present, I guess. And we're, we'll continue the journey. Go ahead and enjoy these couple of short clips watching me rage. All right, let's try this again. Um, is this like my fourth time doing this now? I, I don't know why I keep messing up so bad. And I swear I did it correct, but it didn't, it didn't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I did the plunge in the water. Uh, I need to call out to the spirits of the night sky. And then uh, I ask of thee your precious light. Okay, so I got to do that again, maybe. And then it's not letting me do it. Okay. Power surges through the stone, filling it with radiant light. Finally. Gosh dang it, man. Uh, words of power are contained within the stone. No matter which angle you look at it from, you can see the moon in its reflection. This night it shines particularly brightly. Okay, is that it? Am I done now? Um, uh, do not panic, for the spirits will not let you die and will slowly bring you down. Remember, you must not touch the water. With the stone in your hand, say the following words, O spirits of heaven and spirits of water, I offer thee the purest of lights and bow before thee for the opportunity to adore. Okay. Um, oh, spirits of knights and spirits. What was it again? <laughs> I think it's heaven and water, right? Uh, yes, heaven and water. I was thinking night and water, but yeah. Uh, heaven and spirits of water. Oh, gosh dang it. Really? <laughs> it's testing my memory here. It's not good. I have like the worst memory in the world. Um, I offer thee the purest of lights and bow before thee for the opportunity to d adore. Okay. Uh, and bow. Gosh dang it. Was it the bright divine? Bright divine, yes. No! Oh my gosh! Ugh. Uh, because the chat was moving up, I ended up misclicking there. <laughs> you guys, this is a ridiculous quest. Oh my gosh! I, you know, and I, I, I got so frustrated yesterday, and I was ran, running out of time, so I just logged off, and I logged on right now. I was thinking, okay, we're gonna get it out of the way, but, but, dude. You know, I should. I guess I should turn off chat. I don't know. Um, uh, this is freaking ridiculous. It happened again. It happened again. I, uh, I, I don't like to turn off chat because like I like to see what people are saying and stuff, but I guess I should definitely ch turn it off for this quest at least. Alright, we're back. It's like a week later. <laughs> Let's try this again. Um... Gosh dang it. What am I doing now? <laughs> If they answer you, tell them you uh, call out to the spirits of the night sky. Night sky. Okay, so after I do that, that's when I then have to open up the chat. Uh, what's the thing, though? 
I ask thee of your precious light, O divine. Okay, so are are we are we finally done? Does that mean that that we're good to go? Uh, hold on. Okay, with the stone in your hand, say the follow. Oh, spirits of heaven and spirits of water, I offer thee the purest of lights and bow before thee for the opportunity to adore the bright divine. Am I supposed to point it somewhere? Uh, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> I need to like write this down or take a picture of it or something. Oh, spirits of heaven and spirits of water. I beg thee, O Spirits, clear the mind of thy humble servants. Are you serious, man? Come on. Okay, that one. That one. That one. And nothing. <laughs> Uh, there's only darkness around you, but you hear... Gosh, what's going on with my keyboard? <clears throat> and you hear something. Uh, what? Where am I? What's happening? The noise suddenly gets louder, almost deafening you. There's only noise all around and nothing but noise. For some reason, you're still holding the stone Ephesius gives you, gave you. I see something like right there. You see a silhouette with the last of your strength. You're trying to keep your eyes open. Whatever it is, it slowly turns its head towards you. However, you are unable to maintain eye contact anymore. A cacophony of sounds envelops you and darkness covers your eyes. Then, just as suddenly, all the sound stops and the light something or other. Okay. I'm assuming that means we have made it to the first dungeon of Region 3. Ooh, I like this. I like this dungeon starting area. Or maybe this is not the first dungeon. This looks like it's maybe something else. What is going on here? Sanguine Halls. Marcus, Silver Swordsman. I don't know what's, what that's all about. Let us talk to you then. Gallery Informant. What do you need? Uh, explain the basics. Oh, we've a we have access to the Gallery of Fear. The Gallery of Fear is wave-based, endless content. It is entirely in adventure mode. Shortly after killing all enemies, the next wave will start. Your objective is to reach the highest wave possible. You gain points after clearing waves, which can be used for doors, buff stations, and mystery boxes. At the start of the gallery, you must get a pr brochure by right-clicking in the first room. What happens when I die? When you die, you lose all of your buffs and you are sent to a different location. You must wait either for your team to revive you or for the next wave to start. When a teammate dies, they spawn a grave and you are able to revive them by crouching next to it. Well, I don't have any teammates. And... Uh, what is it? Right-click while holding a brochure to view player and team information such as what wave you are on, how many enemies you have spawned in your team points. Okay, so it's like... Um, <laughs> the game that comes to mind for me is Plants vs. Zombies. But that, it's that kind of idea, right? Okay. It's like I thought I saw another villager. Seek nightmares from the mortal plane and conjure them to a dream of this world. Only then can I grant you access. What does that mean? Um, secrets? What does my quest compass say? 
Well, that's the only quest that we have available. I'm supposed to go back to that shrine and find some kind of blessing or something, although I don't remember seeing anything there. So what was the purpose of all this exactly? Oh, I can actually jump up here. Interesting. Rare trader. Uh, I command the fragments of the nightmare. Trade with me those fragments. All right, well, I guess that's it then for that quest. I feel like we were supposed to go back and talk to people or something. But apparently not. So... Yeah. Alright, so we found uh, where we completed that quest, I guess, although we weren't actually able to do anything with it, which I thought was kind of odd that they would give us a quest that we can't actually, like, we can't do the next thing of it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that all works. The only quest that we have currently is the His Faithful Servant. We need to bring a shrine bless blessing to Cadius. Which we discovered this place when we were searching around for the dusk honey stuff. This looks intriguing. Are you something relevant here? No. Alright, but we know that the little shrine is like over here in this general direction. Um, although when I was down there, I don't remember seeing anything that we could collect. I'm so upset about these bushes, man. Whoever's decision it was to put the little spiky bushes in the terrain is just... I don't like you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. we're going to head back there and see what we can find, but I'm not sure exactly what we're looking for. Like, what, what even is a blessing? And I'm also not entirely sure how to access this place. I know we just we just kind of stumbled upon it previously. I think we were even like looking in the water or something. Um, but yeah, we'll do our best to figure out where it is. Oh my gosh, these stupid bushes. So I'm confused now because those guys were not here last time, were they? But apparently there were supposed to be some bee guys here. And I know that we found like a cave entrance that we could actually go in and out of at one point too. Dude, these bushes, oh my gosh. There's so many of them. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah? Maybe? Perhaps? I got plenty of coal. Don't need that. Um. Huh. I could have sworn that this was the cave that we had taken previously. But I'm not seeing anything here. But I know it's around here somewhere. Somewhat close by. Maybe it's this cave. Are you the cave that we're looking for? Okay, well, I'm in adventure mode all of a sudden. Yes, this has to be at Boon of the Pit. But it talks about a blessing. What the heck is the blessing? It doesn't help that I can't see very well here. Yeah, I don't know. As far as I can tell, there's nothing... Nothing here to, like, collect or anything.
So I'm very confused at this point. Let's see where you take us. We're back in regular mode now. Ah, huh, that was funny. But yeah, this is just leading us around in a circle. I'm pretty sure that this is the shrine that we were supposed to find. One, oh, it says Fenian Flower. Okay, well, where are these supposed flowers at? Plenty of shrooms around. Oh, I don't like that I can't place torches and stuff because I can't see anything. Can't break anything, can't see anything. I'm not even sure what a Fenian flower looks like. I don't think it's going to be like a flower that we can break, though. Right? No, we don't need tulips. We need we need Fenian flowers. Well, it's the only pick I have, so I don't really care. I was going to dig around for those tunnels that we were in previously, plus I need the blocks. I Man, I could have sworn that we like came out of the ceiling behind some leaves or something, right? Why do I have you on the bar? What are you? Sticks. No, you're not what we're looking for. Are you it? Yeah, this is it. But I mean, this is not really what we're looking for, I don't think. This is just... Just the sewer system or whatever. Where are we at? Um, interesting. We're not in adventure mode anymore. But maybe this is where we find the flower. Wait, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, ah, clearly you are not Coven, but why come here? I found this place while traveling. Who are you? Ah, skilled at nosing into the business of others, are you? Ah, but tis no matter. I am Alantia and Aradia. I brew here with these cauldrons, you see. Why is there blood on the ground? Hmm, a tragedy. A few council rats were waiting here, using this place. They had to be flushed out. You're awfully open about what you do. You don't have the look of a coven spy, and I doubt the council would give you much of an ear if you weren't. Yes, my practices seem safe with you. Do you do anything here besides brew? Potions are my main calling, though I have some relics, ones you might be interested in. Yes, the Narsen word is alchemist, I believe. You do have the look of the old professor. Professor? Do you mean Walton? Yes, mm, he's, or, hmm, he stayed with the Aradia for some time. Tis ancient history, though. Come, buy my little charms off me instead. There's always time to tell old tales, but trade waits for no one, so they say. Okay, so he's just a charm dealer. For alchemists. I'm guessing that maybe you, there's, like, specific charm dealers for each of the classes, which is pretty cool. We'll need to find the charm master for... The scout, but this is still not what we're looking for. We're looking for flowers. And these are not flowers, these are charms. I'm actually wondering if that... No, no, because we talked to him and he said... Or we explained to him that it was just like a pit with nothing at the bottom. So that's definitely... Like the place that we're supposed to go, right? Unless you find the... Blessings or whatever elsewhere. So I don't know. I don't know where to find the, the flowers at. Uh, regardless, I feel like this episode is probably long enough. Even though I feel like we... I mean, I finally managed to do that little ritual thing. 
So I guess we we did accomplish something this episode, but I was hoping to I don't know, make make more progress as far as like quests and stuff go. Are you something we should care about? What are you? Are you just nether wart? Hey. There's a villager. Very close by. He's like inside of this wall here. My pick is gonna break on me. Yes, who are you? Uh, I have no need for you. This is Coven territory, outsider. Well, that's not very nice. What's with all these random little secret rooms and stuff? Do you have any flowers I can borrow, maybe? What are you? What kind of flower are you? No. No. I know it's not going to be a random flower that we just pick up off the ground. It's going to be something in a chest or something, but... Maybe there is a chest or a barrel down at the bottom of that pit, and I just didn't see it. It's kind of hard to see. It's a little, little dark down there. What is that thing over there? What are you? What's down below? Is it bad things? I feel like there's probably bad things down here. Boy, I don't know, man. It, if it feels like a lot of these things are supposed to be dungeons, but then like there's nothing there. All right. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.